Hey guys, so just a quick disclaimer before this review begins. Uh, Joseph and I managed to get Drew and Patrick from our old school at Landmark to help us out with the review. Now, uh, Drew is will be covering his face, or at least a majority of his face, uh, for the review. Now, for anybody who might be wondering why he's doing it, it's because uh, he's camera shy, which we completely understand. Uh, we support uh, Drew, and, you know, if anybody was wondering, that's basically why. Uh, but, you know, we had a lot of fun uh, do doing this, watching uh, the review, watching the movie, and then reviewing it together. Uh, and hopefully we can do something like this uh, again. So, that being said, enjoy the review. What is up, posse? My name is Will Gronlick, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Omega Wolf Productions. So you can see we have quite a bit of a gathering uh, here. We have some of the original cast uh, back uh, to review. One of the, the uh, first things we reviewed together was the first Star Wars holiday special, and Disney Plus released a Lego Star Wars holiday special, this time taking place after the sequel trilogy. So this was actually Jessup's idea. Um, so, anybody want to, like, you know, add in before we give our overall thoughts on this? Uh, just think of this as a Muppets Christmas family special. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we're kind of like it. It's, um, it, it's just something you could just put on for the holidays for the kids. Um, it's, it's cutesy. It, it'll keep them entertained. It's got some legitimately funny moments. Yeah, well, I mean, it, a, lot, a, lot of, like, a lot of the like fun, the fun for the kids, references for the adults, <laughs> backstory for the nerds. <laughs> it's got a little bit of everything. Now, yeah. Drew, uh, I just want to ask Drew because I know you're not a big fan of Star Wars. What, what were your overall thoughts? Like, would you recommend this to someone who was not a fan of the franchise? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. It, on its own merits, it's. Mm, pretty good and even though I'm I know a few things about some of the stuff through pop culture osmosis Fair but, enough. but even but just knowing some basic stuff it still can stand upon its own yeah I'd say so and like I said a lot of the Lego properties uh, can have some legit funny moments I mean the Lego movie is fantastic Lego yeah, it has its heartfelt moments Exactly. The Lego Batman is just as good. Uh, Lego 2 is pretty good. Ninjago was okay, but... Uh, it, it, compared to the Ninjago, other three. Ninjago stood on its own. Lego Bat Lego Movie and Lego Movie 2, they, and they stood on their own. I'd say they all did. Yeah, they did. Uh, I mean, I know you're a big fan of the Ninjago, because uh, you and I saw it together with Patrick, who's our other guest on. Let me see... I mean, uh, like you guys uh, said, uh, this movie's made mainly for, you know, kids and maybe also uh, people who have watched uh, Star Wars before, or, like, it's just a good way to just turn your brain off. You won't really need it, because you know, logic is just thrown out the window, I feel like, in this one. I mean, basically, it, you know, basically, to those in the audience that I understand, two words. Time travel. <laughs> <laughs> spoil that. I think it's kind of it's in the trailer. It's probably fine yeah. here. Um, but yeah, this is okay. It's not it's nothing anything uh, special, but we can safely say it's a lot better than the uh, other the other holiday special. Oh, it's a million times better than that one. You know the one. I put this one on over that one, and besides, Absolutely. this like, one has some funny moments. Um, it's entertaining. It's better than we all thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like, we all thought it was going to be garbage. Yeah. But, it's actually a flick. Yep. Um, now, I'm, I'd say, you know, uh, kind of like uh, something like, I guess, uh, a little bit like uh, Rebels, where it seems like it would be, you, you know, more, more kid-friendly at first, but uh, it can be something that the whole family can enjoy, or anybody oh, of all ages. Yeah, um. I'd argue the first few seasons of Clone Wars are like that too. They're yeah. they're not on par with the rest of the show. Yeah, like uh, this is has to be one of the uh, I guess not one of the biggest, but it's a pretty good net. It's like one of the big uh, never judge a book by its cover 
superhero movies. And by that, I mean, you look at the advertisements for this and you think this looks stupid. Like there's absolutely no way I would absolutely waste my time with this when actually it's not that bad. And it's not a huge waste of time. It's only 40 minutes long. 45. What? 45. 45 minutes. Now, uh, granted, I did feel like at times it dragged on a little bit, uh, but uh, once the, like, you know, the, the third act uh, kicks in, then it's like nonstop fun. Yeah. Before they, then, they you got some good moments, they, too. They, it's a good joke. There's a, a lot of time spent homaging the past, and you know, they were needed moments, but they did uh, take time. Well, how, what is everyone thinking about the B plot with them trying to set up for Life Day? Um, well, I mean, I guess it's uh, interesting how they try to bring back, like, you know, stuff from the, the older uh, things, but I don't know. I think this is something you guys would probably... Uh, I lost it when uh, Poe was trying to... This is not really a big spoiler, but there's a moment in the movie where Poe's trying to cook, and he's using the Falcon's engine to cook, and I just... <laughs> lost it at that moment who wouldn't use uh, who wouldn't use a high performance vehicle to cook their uh, holiday dinner I mean, I mean who doesn't <laughs> exactly <laughs> uh patrick is there anything else you want to add well it like everyone else is saying it's nothing uh it's just for the kids it's um it has a uh, nice uh shout outs to uh other things like um they shout out to uh, criticisms of the Phantom Menace, uh, Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> yes. I think that's where Attack the Clones, because that's where he gives the sudden speech. Yeah. But, but, but still. Yeah. So, is there anything else you guys wanted to add? Um, check it out. Uh, fight yeah. the kids. Good, There's good no family. innuendos, so that's good. It is actually a There's family no picture. There's no innuendos, just references to the past, present, and future. <laughs> Question That's is, good. What are we going to do now? Uh, all right, so I guess that does it for this review. If you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. And speaking Next, of Star Wars, stay tuned tomorrow for the live stream. All right, Justin will be doing a live stream uh, tomorrow, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And the next review we'll, we'll be doing, I believe it's going to be the hand drawn Cinderella movie. Isn't that right, Jessup? I believe so. Um, we had a three-way tie on that poll, so we're just going to do all three of those movies. Yep, it'll be Cinderella, and then I believe it's Aladdin, Aladdin and, and then Lion King. All right, so be sure to stay tuned for all the, uh, the classic uh, Disney films. Yes, yep, those ones. Classic. So, until next time, see you later, Posse. See ya. <laughs>